And today I'm gonna show you how I'm going to use Photoshop on iPhone to make some cool graphics for my parkour videos. Super cool, let's get into it. I do these like daily sessions sometimes where I'll just go out for an hour or two. I was out there filming myself, doing my tricks, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got this <laughs> to Instagram right away. So here I am, I only have my phone right now because I'm outside in the cold, and then I remember I have Photoshop on iPhone. I need a post for Instagram that's a thumbnail, right? Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm going to make a new document. There we go. There we go. Perfect. From our photos. Boom. New layer has been added. Cool thing about this is when we hit transform, you can actually toggle on a setting that makes any direction oh, perfect. you size scaled and linked. I'm going to add from photos um, again. So uh, I love doing this. I'll take stuff that I've actually drawn and written and I will populate it as type. This has been something that I haven't really been able to do on the phone at all up until now. So what we're going to do is make an adjustment layer, which actually doesn't tweak the image. Uh, we're going to take our curves and make our darks super dark and our lights super light. Then we're going to add a mask to just our type, which is going to be solo session. So quick select brush, boom, boom. Now it kind of knows what we're doing. It's super intuitive the way you can mask on mobile just by tapping and using a brush. Boom. So, okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to add a fill layer, like a nice kind of yellow, maybe more like an orange. We're going to add this and notice how when I open my layers, everything is automatically clipped. This is one thing that um, Photoshop Mobile does for you. So we're going to group these right here to make it nice and neat. Uh, and then I'm going to transform this whole thing and scale it up. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, move it on above, uh, and then we're going to create a mask. Throughout the years, I've learned that like you have to fail to succeed. Uh, that's especially true with landing things, trying your moves and your lines. Uh, and that's especially true with design and technique and especially drawing. So we'll say, oh my gosh, I'm upside down. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how it works. We have access to Adobe fonts. Uh, I'm gonna look up condensed. Let's do this. Demi, done. We can use this to scale up our type without warping it. Oh my god, I'm upside down. If we wanted to, we can um, skew it a little bit. So yeah, we'll call this one done. We're gonna go ahead and export this as PNG. We gotta make another one. Let's do it. So I had the idea of doing like um, kind of a surrealist looking photo. Uh, one thing I want to do is actually hide the background right away. See, it already anticipates what I'm going to do. So we're going to add an adjustment layer. Boom. So we're going to add some exposure. Now I'm going to add my image. Uh, I took this picture when I was out training. I thought, wow, I could come in handy. And I sure did. I'm also going to add a new adjustment layer. Curves are my go-to because you can change like all kinds of levels right away. So here's my type again. Mask this now. Let's add a fill layer. All right, let's clip this now. So uh, I just wrote staying cool, staying fly. Um, and we're gonna also skew this up like we did last time. So we can go ahead and hit scroll over to hit size. Uh, ratios, four to five. Yeah. So like if I wanted some clouds or like an airplane. Oh, an airplane would be cool. So what we're gonna do is hit this plus button here, uh, hit empty layer, and we're gonna select an area. Jet, plane, far away with contrail. For adding things and getting that extra spice like this wow. awesome result, that is perfect. Gen AI is like our perfect solution here. Actually, one thing I am gonna do is add some clouds behind me. So I'm going to go back, uh, hide myself because I grouped my layers like a good Samaritan. <laughs> Stay <laughs> gentle. I'm trying to be a poet here. Gentle, gentle <laughs> um, view from below. Oh, that's perfect. Let's add another one over here. Why don't we add like just a little bird? Bird in the sky from far away. Flying pose. <laughs> Flying pose. Sometimes it might get like a bird that looks like this. Yeah. We want like a cool bird. Um, oh, wow. That's oh, pretty much perfect. That's I good. I love that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we want to go to stock. So we're going to look for skyline yeah. daytime. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in. Boom. But ba -ba -na -na -na. downloading asset. Can we place it quickly? Man, I sure hope so. I'm going to design it sickly. Whoa. <laughs> we're going to tap select the sky and then we're going to go in here to edit mask. We're going to invert it so that the rest is kept. And I'm kind of going to just see where it would look good. Just like that, my friends. So we have our solo sesh. Oh my gua. I'm upside down. Oh my gua. Upside down. Chill day. Stay cool. Stay fly. Wow, you did a fantastic job. Peace. Thanks.